Hey there, I'm Todo, and today I'm going to show you how to install uh, and uh, use Driver Easy, the famous driver installer. But first of all, I want to make a disclaimer. This is not going to be one of my usual videos making tutorials about Minecraft. This will come eventually. I'm working on some tutorials. But now we're going to start with this one. First, we must head to DriverEasy.com and click free trial, right? This, uh, this is one of these programs that you must, uh, that you have a trial period and then you must buy it to enjoy the, the full benefits. I personally don't like that about it. So, but yeah, so we're going to click on it. If you're using Chrome, if not, it should be on your, on your download folder uh, over here, for example, over here, and you just click on it and it's going to ask for permission, administration permissions. and. It, Obviously, to install it, we need to give it administration administrator permission. So we're going to click yes. And then we're going to select our language. In this case, I'm going to put English. That's, yeah, well, I speak English. And then you can, for example, customize your, your installation path. I personally will customize my installation path to my other drive, which is uh, way bigger or just over here. Uh, but you should be able to just click the install now and we're gonna untick this and yeah that's it now it's gonna install it and launch now so we're gonna wait for it to launch it's gonna redirect us to a website like a lot of programs like this um where it advertises us or their product which i mean is good but we're not gonna buy it anyway and now we can do a scan it's gonna scan all your drivers and check for updates for those drivers. As you can see, the UI is pretty intuitive. Um, you have even hardware, some hardware in info and tools that we'll see later. Access, accessing database, now it's gonna end. And it's gonna tell me how many drivers I could uh, update, right? As you can see, drivers related to uh, my CPU, which is AMD, uh, to, my, to my printer, to my GPU, and to my drivers related to sound and sound adapters and Wi-Fi adapters, as you can see. Um, yeah, I could I could update them all, but yeah, you need to buy actually premium. So that's not uh, something that I, we would want to do. If you have premium, you could just click on update all and you could just update it, right? But we're gonna click on hardware info because we wanna see more more fun stuff. As you can see, it gives us a bit of info about CPU, about hardware in general, motherboard, uh, memory and graphics, which is the things that usually use uh, these drivers. We have our tools over here. As you can see, we, we cannot install in bulk like we tried before, so install all, but we can actually install them manually. Uh, but first we should probably make a driver backup just in case you mess something up and and then you can do a driver restore and but and you can also uninstall drivers so we can just click on update and we can update them up, update them by ourselves you know we cannot click and update them update them all because we haven't got premium but hey can always just manually create uh, automatically, this is a uh, system restore, just in case that uh, anything messes up. But I'm gonna, in well, well, that's quite bad. Now it's installing. Well, for a system restore, uh, you must pay for it. So that's a really big downside because in case that we break break something in Windows, we would have to deal with it ourselves, and we cannot do anything. But Hey, we cannot install automatically, as I said, because we're not premium, but wait, that's quite bad. Yeah. As you can see, it's not the best program. I actually prefer other programs, uh, but we're going to install manually and you can inst actually install manually these drives using this program, which is kind of useful, but I still like some other tools better that I'm going to recommend later. Um, now it should uh, probably update. Mm, update. Uh, don't remind me again. Continue. Upgrade to Pro. Uh, we can manually install another driver, for example. 
and something like this will pop up, right? Um, now we can click on the cat file and you can see that it's signed. This is basically the driver sign. And yeah, these are the drivers that we must install. Of course, uh, I'm not gonna show you how to install drivers manually, but it's quite a headache. So I personally do not recommend this, uh, this program at all. It is just a f waste of time if you don't have the premium version, which I wouldn't really want to install. I, I recommend other programs such as Driver Booster or Driver Pack Solution, which actually let you install it a man, uh, automatically. Uh, usually drivers will automatically install with the Windows updates, even though maybe you may be prompt to install it by Windows. So, and if it, isn't in, uh, installed by Windows, then it must not be that important. So prog a program like this is uh, fairly annoying mm, because you know you cannot do anything without the Pro. So I would not recommend Driver Easy. And yeah, if you like this video, please press the like button. If you like my channel, my content overall, not this content, the Minecraft content, then I would say I invite you to subscribe to it. So we can hit maybe 50 followers, I don't know. And I'll see you in the next video.